Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 5. We're going to be doing the trailer breakdown for Episode 18. This is the penultimate episode of the season, that meaning the week after is going to be the finale. Episode 19, obviously they got cut short by one episode. It's supposed to be 20 episodes this season. So we're really close to the end of the season, and things are sort of going to kick off in this episode, I do believe. Okay, so we're going to be breaking down the trailer, then we've got some photos to go over, and we've got this first thing that I want to talk about first. We had a cameo last episode that no one would have guessed unless someone was told, and Melissa did tell us. So if you follow Melissa on Instagram, which you guys should all, you should follow all the actors because sometimes they post spoilers and little interesting things like this, but... Chris Wood was in last episode. Melissa directed last episode and it was her first directorial outing and she put in a little cameo, that being Chris Wood. And obviously you guys know Chris plays Monel on the show. So technically Monel or a version of him, a doppelganger of him, you know, on Earth, was in this episode. And I know it doesn't mean anything. He was just like a body in a body bag because that's what he was. Melissa revealed that he was in this body bag, but when you think of it in terms of the show, like if we actually saw it, which obviously there was never planned, this was a last minute cameo because Chris was around the set and they wanted to do some sort of cameo. I'm guessing Melissa wanted to do this. So technically when you look at it in terms of the show, if that was a doppelganger, that would be amazing. But you know, more likely than not, it was just like a small little cameo. But I just thought I would include this at the start of the video because it was very exciting to me to see this where Melissa posted it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this trailer breakdown. Okay, so the first shot of the trailer is of Gemma, and I think Gemma was really good last episode. I really, really got into her character, especially at the end, because there was something completely surprising seeing her snap into those powers. But yeah, so she's pretty good right now, and you know, most of you guys know, and you've been commenting, oh, Mrs. Wheeler, Mrs. Wheeler, yes. Mrs. Wheeler from Stranger Things, I had no idea before because I didn't watch the show until the quarantine and I finished all of Stranger Things, so I'm a big fan of her. And she was really, really good last episode, especially when she snapped. Okay, so let's move on to the next shot. And so in the next shot, we get to see Ramakan and basically she's telling him, I'm um, talking about Gemma here, you know, you're going to get a second chance to defeat the supers and you're going to have to do this essentially and I'm pretty sure she makes him get captured. And then we move on to the next shot and the next shot is of Supergirl as she is fighting Rama Khan and so she looks up in the air and I think he's like flown down or using his powers or something like that. And so then there's a match cut and we go to Nia and Nia is looking up again so I think Rama Khan is just in the air or he's just like jumped in or something. And then we flash back to him in a past episode where he was fighting Supergirl, basically he failed and that's why he was taken away from Leviathan. And so I've got a feeling maybe he switches sides in this episode. I don't know, I get this gist from the next shot because Supergirl is talking to Brainy and Ramakan is just in the background in normal clothes and it doesn't even look like he's handcuffed because I'm pretty sure handcuffs wouldn't even hold him. So he's just here. So is he working for Supergirl? That is the question. But yeah, Supergirl is talking to Brainy and they are working together and basically she's pretty sure, I'm talking about Supergirl here, that Lex has been working with Leviathan as we all well know. Yes, that's the truth, but he's been playing Leviathan. We know he's been playing Leviathan, but in the DEO, we see Ramakan and he grabs this kryptonite. He's obviously got it. I'm presuming Lex gave it to him. And so then we cut to a bit where the voice overlay matches what I just said about Kara thinking Lex is working with Leviathan. And we have Lex in, I think, the Leviathan car and he was laughing. So I'm not sure if this is a new shot or an old shot. It looks very familiar. But then we move on, we go back to the DEO, and this is the episode, which we'll get to in a second, but it's an episode where something massive happens in the DEO. And so Supergirl is here, she looks up in the air as the DEO is attacked. So then we go back to Rama Khan, he's in the DEO, he's just looking at this kryptonite, the green light reflects back onto his face, it's just a close-up, and this is just before one of the earlier scenes where he's dressed in these normal clothes, and I think maybe after this fight, he could be, you know, working with Supergirl. I think there's a potential, I don't know how likely it is, but he seems to be pretty civil after this once he takes this beating. So yeah, Supergirl punches him, you can see, cuts back, Melissa's about to whack him, 
and he goes flying into this pole and the pole gets destroyed because obviously he's super strong and Supergirl's punch is Supergirl's punch. So what are you going to do? You're going to go flying. And so now we get to the big bit. This is the bit I was talking about in regards to the DEO. The DEO does get destroyed in this episode and we can see this in action right here and we've seen this in behind the scenes. We'll get to the behind the scenes in a second but literally the lights are coming crashing down, the screens are all cracked, there are explosions going off and in the behind the scenes photos taken by various sources we've seen the rubble of the DEO. Obviously this place is not actually going to be destroyed in real life because it's just a set but then they made this new sort of display outside when they were actually shooting in public and it said the DEO it had the sign that is inside the DEO and it was covered in rubble. So yeah, massive, massive stuff. The DEO gets destroyed by the end of the season. The question is, is the DEO going to come back next season? I think there is a possibility that they will just create a new base or they would just scrap the DEO idea and they would just stay at the watchtower and the DEO won't be a thing anymore. Okay, so then we move on to the next shot. We have a look at Kara and Kara is here and she is talking to someone. I can't quite make it out, but this is just a nice shot showing her suit, just her being Supergirl. And then we move on to the final shot of the trailer and this is as Lex looks at Lena. So this is with some sort of weird kind of stare, like he's in power and... They're going to be working together this episode, but I think Team Supergirl is going to be pitted against Leviathan, and I'm pretty sure that's part of Lex's plan as far as I can recall. Okay, so let's move on to talk about the photos for this episode. So we go back, and we are in the same place that we ended the trailer on. And so it seems like they are definitely working together, Lena and Lex, and they are with this patient. I can't quite make out who it is. It could be someone important, or it could just be a test subject that they have but this guy is in chains, he is locked up, he can't move, basically he is going to be tested on. Then we go to this next photo, and this next photo is of both of them again with the patient, but also the guy from the prison that Lena keeps on seeing, and we've seen a few times over you know, the course of a few years. So he is here, he's helping out, I don't remember what his speciality is, but... This could be the prison hospital that they are working in. But then we cut to this next photo of Lena and Lex. They're just looking at each other, like in the trailer. And then Lena is just by herself with the patient. Seems like she's going to be talking to him and sort of calming him down. I don't know. He's got some sort of, like, inhibitor on his head, like, in the temples. So I guess he's being controlled in some way. I don't know if this is to do with Nonna Cherry or not. But anyway, let's move on and we see this photo of Nia and Nia is in the DEO and there's nothing much more apart from this just being a great photo to show off her suit, show off her as a superhero because I think Nia's really coming into her own at the moment and I've been really enjoying her recently. Okay, so we go to this hospital, I think it's been wrecked. And I'm pretty damn sure this is the prison hospital that I just mentioned prior. And Lex is here. We have a guard as well. That guard definitely gives away that potentially this is inside that prison. But anyway, things are wrecked. I don't know what the hell happened here, but something happened that caused this chaos. Then we move on to the next photo. Rama Khan is incapacitated. He is chained up. He's got the metacuffs on. So he is here talking to Brainy. I'm guessing they're talking a bit about Leviathan and maybe Brainy trying to get something out of him. Although Brainy looks very casual, Rama Khan does look very confrontational. And in the same room, we've got Supergirl and Nia. They are together and Kara is comforting Nia. And this is probably something to do with what's happening with Rama Khan in this room. And we get various photos of those two together. So Supergirl and Nia like this. And it seems like they are trying to interrogate in these three photos that they're in. And then also this separate photo of Supergirl just by herself. Again, like Nia's one, just a cool photo of Melissa in her Supergirl suit. But yeah, going back to the point, I think they are interrogating Ramakan in this moment. And so then we go to the hallway of the DEO and we've got Supergirl, Nia and Brainy all together talking. And this is probably either just before or just after talking to Rama Khan. I would probably say it's just before, because you go to this photo, Rama Khan has been wheeled in with the chains and everything, and it seems like Supergirl is here, just ready for a fight in case he breaks out. But anyway, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy road.